So I'm really excited to show you guys the uh, TFT Color uh, 750 LCD display. And it's only been around for a couple of years, but it's great. It gives you lots and lots of information about your bike and uh, has lots of settings that are really important to control. It gives you lots and lots of options. It's really crystal clear, the display, easy to see in the sun, easy to see in the dark. It's just an all-around great display. Unfortunately, it's not available for all controllers. So we're going to start with the programming. I'll show you. I'm going through the menu. It gives you various maximum speed, average speed, um, your miles per hour, your wattages on the right-hand side, your control, your pedal assist. And all, all you're doing here is working the thumb part here that has a power switch, it has a menu switch, and an up and down. And in order to access your menu settings, you need to double click the menu button twice very fast and it'll get you into the main basic settings. Use the menu to scroll through and here is the system. So as you can see, the, the first uh, on your display settings is uh, between Imperial and Metric. I pick Imperial. If you're in Europe, uh, you want to pick Metric. Uh, then you can control your brightness, uh, control whether the, uh, the screen goes off automatically or not. And then uh, scenes, uh, is, is you can switch between digital and analog. I choose digital. Then, of course, the ba battery indicator, which I find one of the most important things on an e-bike, is you can switch between the percentage of the battery that's left, which is what I choose to do. Uh, you can turn it off, or you can pick voltage. Now, I know this sounds really simple, but I'm so happy this uh, display has a clock on it. Uh, my other displays don't have clocks on it. It's just one of those simple things. Just to have it available is great. You can change the year and all the settings on it, but it's just... So then you can, by pressing the power button, you can go over to the basic settings where you can put your wheel size, your uh, battery voltage if you're running a 52 or 48. And then in order to get into advanced settings, uh, you're going to need a password. And the stock password for this particular manufacturer is 1919. So in order to get to the advanced settings, you're going to have to plug in your password. Or you can actually, there's a setting there to change it if you want to customize it. So here you get to pick your speed limit. I've maxed out at 99 kil kilometers. Your ampage, I've got 35 amp controller. Um, drive mode, assist and throttle is what I choose. You can pick just one or the other or both. And then at the throttle level, I pick 50% because if you pick 100%, it just it accelerates too quickly. So 50% is a really nice sweet spot for me. And then you press the menu button to escape back to the main display. And one of the things I really like about this display is that when I power off, it saves all my information, whereas my other, my other displays, I'd have to start from scratch in terms of miles, the trip distance, so forth and so on. But this is great, so when I power back up, all my data from that trip has been saved, and I can just continue on my trip. Uh, it's just another little feature, but really important to me. So that's it. That's the uh, TFT color 750 display and uh, I really like it. I've been riding it for a couple of weeks now and it's and it's great. So I will include a link to the uh, manual below in the description. And again, thanks so much for, for watching our videos. Hi, I'm Kirby with 